every day you, you get up and you grind, 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 and you come home and you got nothing to show for it. Tradish has given me everything to show for it. We were teenagers, I was 16, and I remember saying to myself, I'm gonna marry that girl one day. When I was little, my mom told me, I'm gonna teach you how to cook, and I was like, no, I'm gonna marry a man who could cook. I don't need to learn this, mom. But she could bake. I could bake. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been a baker. When it got brought to me, hey, you should go to culinary school. I was hooked that first day. And it wasn't until I had my first culinary test. He's like, I just want you to know yours was the best in the class. And I was like, what? And from that day forward, I never looked back. He wanted to go to school. You know, his cousin Joe um, was. I lost my cousin. It's been about a month now. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't made that phone call to me and told me, this is what you know we should be doing. He was the, the voice of reason a lot of times for me. This is the way that I'm choosing to honor him and what he's done for me. Food gives us more than just a voice, man. It gives us, it gives us a doorway into what I feel is what makes life worth living. Right at the pit of COVID, I broke my leg. We were hiking and there we was were, magical mint we were hiking. on the path. We were hiking. <laughs> and you had to see the mint. So, you know, I was on, I was bedridden for at least three months. We were all at home. And my wife starts going, like, what's your favorite type of cake? And I said, carrot. So she's, I'm gonna try to look up some recipes and I wanna try to make it from scratch though. I was like, dude, this is good. So you made this. And she's like, yeah, I made everything. I made this, I made the, the frosting, the cake, everything. Braided the carrot. And it just evolved. She just kept going. The amount of work and the amount of love that she puts into what she bakes. I knew we had some. My wife had lured me into, you know, the Mako program. I had so many recipes and so many different things that I wanted to try and I felt like maybe this is the way to go about it. So right away I, I uh, started making it happen. I got certified, the health department inspection. It was like they were in and out of here because we had this place ready to go and sold out first night. And then we were selling out every night after that. I'm here to make a name for myself. But that name for myself came at a cost. The sacrifice that I made to be away from my family. And, and all the places, all the validations, all the things, all the credits that I've gotten, all the people telling me, hey, you're this, you're that. Nothing meant more to me than to be at home with my family. Nobody else is on the level that I feel uh, tradition is bringing it to. And I felt that not only are they growing, but who else is growing with them? We are. And I think any chef out there, any home cook, any, any backyard barbecuer, if you like to do your own stuff, this is what you want to do. And under this platform. I'm Che Gelman. I'm Sarah Galvin. And this is Our Tradition Kitchen. Welcome to El Hefe Cuisine. <laughs>